What's going on guys? I'm your host James and welcome to Backyard Smoke. Today we're going to be making a maple glaze smoked salmon on the Weber kettle using the SNS. What we got going on today is part two. I'm going to bring you guys up to speed. Last night we started with our brine, a simple salt and uh, brown sugar brine, a little bit of spices and we went ahead and prepped it. Right now we're getting the grill fired up got the stack going since we're going for a very low smoke today we're trying to hang around 160 to 180 degrees uh, that we're going to smoke this out for about three to four hours so let's go ahead and get uh get in on this and i'll catch you guys up to what we've done so far today all right guys so we're back in the kitchen we let this uh wet brine overnight what we're doing now is taking it out of the brine and we're going to let it air dry uh, for a few hours what we're looking for is for the salmon to get a little bit tacky so that we know the rub will stick to it so now we're going to go ahead and make our citrus bed the uh, brine is dried up it's nice and tacky all we have here is an assortment of lemons onions and limes you can place this how you like I just kind of like lay it out there and um, you know just kind of try to make it variety or even but you know i'm a little bit picky about that i want the different flavors all over the salmon so just lay this on your wire rack and then you'll go ahead and lay your salmon right on top of that all right so the last thing that we're going to do is add our rub i'm just using a regular pink himalayan salt garlic pepper mix i'm gonna let the smoke and I'm going to let the syrup go ahead and speak for the rest as well as the wet brine. All right, you guys, so we are back. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the grill. We're sitting about 150 right now, temps rising. And all we're gonna do is lay this right here. Kinda of angle it a little bit, since most of our coals are right here. And we'll adjust accordingly if we need to. We're not gonna put any probes or anything in yet. We know this is gonna take a while. We'll leave it right here and I'll bring you guys back when I start to glaze it up. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, you guys, so we're temping about 120, 125. So we're just gonna put this nice maple syrup glaze on here. It's uh, getting dark here in Ohio. So we usually just do this till the night go down and sometimes a little bit later. It smells wonderful. I wish you guys could smell it. So all we're doing is just brushing this on. We've increased our temperatures just a little bit. Just cause like I said, it's getting a little bit late. But since we're cooking in direct, we're still doing well. So next time I see you guys, we'll be cutting this bad boy and uh, taking a good bite out of it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're back. We pulled the small piece off. Now we're, uh, the big one is still coming up to temperature, but we're gonna go ahead and slice into it. As you can see, it has a really wonderful color on there from the smoke and the syrup. We pulled these at 140 degrees. So we're gonna take a slice here. As you can see, it's already falling apart, so that's really good. And that is Super Lincoln Libby. It will be good. Well, I don't even have to ask. It will be a piece. It's really good. Yeah. You did the best job on this. Thank you, Lincoln. So I'm gonna come down here with the littles. Take a bite. Mm, it's really good. Taste the smoke, the syrup, the brine. Mm. Oh yeah. This is nice. We're just gonna add on some lemon juice. You know, around there. To, yeah, see, you kind of balance out. But other than that, this is really good. So if you guys like, go ahead and subscribe, share. Tell them, Lincoln. You know what to tell them. Super link. Yes. Subscribe, share the stuff. 
and be happy for your toys. All right. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.